All right, so we have to go back to the Winking Sands. I still have envelopes, I think. With Menphilia. It's Leah Wild. All right. Hopefully, this place looks lively again. Yeah, we have a guard. We have guards. All right. Good. How funny is it that, like, this is a very simple little instance space, right? But they cram so much, like, nostalgia in it. Like, I'm not even done with ARR yet. And yet, like, I already have strong feelings about this place. It's interesting how they've accomplished that. Who is Slapswiss? My dear sister drew her last breath here in the battle with the Empire. To her, the fight for Eorzea's future was more important than her homeland. True to her beliefs, to the end she was. Okay, so he, uh... Or she got... She, she came here because of her sister. Redolf. Now, how many of these people are new and how many of these people were here before? Do you guys know? That's something Final Fantasy XIV does well. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a little bit of magic because it's, there's, you know, it's really just like two rooms and a locked door and a hallway. It's not super impressive to look at, you know? It's just they the story takes place here and some things happen. All right, Radolf says, no matter how dark the night one day, the dawn will break. As long as brave souls like yourself take up the cause, the science will never stand down. You think it's mostly new people in here? Story-wise, most folks that were died. Yeah, they're... Yeah, most folks died. Arenvald, I should have done something, done anything, but I didn't. And now Abba and Ollie are... I will not let it be for nothing. I will earn this. Wigstan says, We came away with our lives, though our losses weigh heavy in our hearts. We must carry on for those who have fallen. So this guy sounds like somebody... Who is here already? Wigstan. Wigstan! And then we have Oriol. As one age endeth and another doth arise, so do our struggles wax and wane. What wouldst thou ask of me? Uh, how fair is the realm? Souls from ether far, strangers from strange lands, yes, stood with thine eyes morrow by thine hands though and thy fellow warriors of light have led us from the darkness of the seventh umbral era as was writ in the divine chronicles yet peace is ever fleeting with the darkness riseth resurgent i pray thou wilt by bring thy light to bear once more i don't even know what you're talking about he'll never like send you like hey can you go get me a sandwich he'll never say anything like that Morgan, that sounds hilarious. All right. We got all of our friends here. Does everybody have dialogue? Just quickly going through this.
Okay. They all have a little bit of dialogue. Just want to make sure there's nothing super important. Instead of gratitude for coming to his rescue, Papa Limo called me a scatterbrain. The next time he gets caught by the Empire, I'm leaving him to rot. Okay. All right. Yeah, nobody's talking about Thancred yet. Let's do it. <laughs> Wouldst thou fetch me a snack of bread and meat? I cannot well express my relief to think that the Alliance came so close to surrender. <laughs> That's how Thancred asked for a sandwich. Hey, can you get me a sandwich? Wouldst thou fetch me a snack of bread and meats? I will be eternally grateful. Oh, man. But the fire in their hearts has been rekindled, and they will fight to the last. This warmth inside. Did you feel it too, Grandfather? I would know something. Was that your power at work earlier? Nothing of the sort. The leaders of Eorzea had lost their way. I merely helped them to find it again. Did he ask if he, she like mind controlled them or used powers on, on them to convince them? <laughs> oh, Dominoes. hello. Yes, our party returned just a moment ago. How close are you? Uh-oh. Who's this? It's all right, Sid. We must needs plan our next move. Everyone drink. Pray continue liaising with your Double respective drink. nations. Double drink. Sid, would you be our man in Ulda? <laughs> that was a must needs and a pray. Double drinks. Wow. That was a two for one, yeah. I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. We haven't a moment to waste. All right, let's do this. Sancred's fate weighs heavy on my mind. I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. He is an Asian. Mayhap you know this already. But the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. Ah. Uh, so they have no physical form, so they have to possess people. That they might work unseen, hey, the Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as crystals of darkness. One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. Saving Thancred? Yeah, Marauder, maybe, uh... Maybe, this maybe it won't turn out the way darkness. you think it does. Me saying hi got you through your queue? All right. I'm magical. Yeah. Sage would come back like three weeks later, Marauder, and she'd be like, Ha! <laughs> he wasn't bad <laughs> and he's dreamy <laughs> oh man okay Leo Wild no worries you just can't get past the man sand the man sandals <laughs> See, first it's like teeth can really turn you off, and now it's now it's the footwear. There you go. This is a crystal of darkness. She just happens to have one right there. A mere replica, oh, created okay. using data obtained from anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. Okay. It comes to us courtesy of the students of Baldessian, our distant allies. Even for an Archon. Thancred's talents are exceptional. We all had complete confidence in him. Even for an Archon. So what is, what is an Archon? It was for this reason 
that none among us foresaw the danger in sending him to investigate the Asians alone. Okay. Thancred had been striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Yet, it was plain that he was overtaxing himself. Yeah. He would volunteer for everything and work till he was dizzy. And the toll taken by his exertions made him vulnerable to Asian influence. Hmm. Yeah. Eating Chipotle makes me vulnerable to Asian influence. Archon is an old chess game. I love the I love the chess game Archon. That was one of the best games ever. So good. An Archon is one of Louis Sois' chosen scholars. Very powerful in individuals pre-calamity. Okay. Louis Sois had to pers personally Archonify someone? Oh, interesting. Archons are very high-ranking scholars based in the city-state of Char uh, Charlayan, a nation categorized by academia and secrecy. Secrecy. Shit's a secret. The crystal that binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. I love the extra words in this sentence. If we could but destroy it. If we destroy it. Just say if we, if we destroy it. You're adding words. <laughs> if we could but. You have proven the stoutest of allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Stoic, Yet the most Stoic perilous non. struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm and Thancred, I ask that you lend us your strength once more. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. As I am sure you are aware, the realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. You might have mentioned that once or three times. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain... comparisons. I must confess, you do remind me of them. Hmm. Yet, remember this. However glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. So, am I, am I a warrior of light too? A new darkness threatens the realm, and the people cry out for a savior. I believe that you are he, a warrior of light, here in the present, guided by the crystal's will. Yes! I knew I was special. Come, my friends. Let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. I definitely look the most prepared for battle out of any of these people. With my oh, getup. All right. Hey, they give us eight more envelopes. So I'm not high enough level. Small talk. Ah, I knew she was going to ask me to be a symbol. I'm like Batman. The path you have walked and the battles you have fought all were of your own choosing. Everything you are, you owe to the choices you have made. So this needs 49. Okay. Sweet. Just do the last dungeon you did. Should we just, should we queue up? Uh, if anybody wants to play, do we want to queue up as a, uh, a leveling roulette? I've never done that before.
49. Oh, Bog unlocked the P dungeon. I'm not 49 yet, though. Experience boost is good. Is good. Should I just queue up for that solo? So how do I do this? I've never done this before. This here, duty roulette leveling. Great time to learn. Duty. Anybody want to join me or no? What do I need to know? You're gonna wait at the moment. No, no pressure. There's no pressure. And I know a lot of people want to just play and do their own stuff now. Now there's stuff for you guys to do. It's up to you guys. I'll queue up. You, you tell me. If you rather just do your own thing, go for You're it. You're a dragon. Be a dragon. <laughs> Hey, Wasco, what's up? Thank you for the resub. Four years. Oh, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're available, Denwell? All right, let's do it. Your husband got disconnected and is still trying to get back in a few hours later. That's so bad, Morgan. I'm sorry. Yeah. You want to play Naka? Uh, um, are you in the... Where do I have you? Are we friends? Oh, here we go. All right. How's everyone doing? Doing pretty good. Hanging in there. Busy, busy, busy. But doing well. All right. We got uh, one spot left. Anybody? Going once? Going three times? Is there still room in the Ottoman Empire? Yeah. Is it a Patreon thing? It's not. It's not open to anybody I don't know how to get you in here but somebody can help you out if you hop on our discord unless somebody's available to like invite you now if you hop on our discord we can you can ask there and somebody can invite you but yeah all right let's queue up yeah, just type exclamation point discord if anybody wants to join our discord. It's where we hang out and geek out about movies and TV shows and other games and music and food and post pictures and stuff like that. So go check that out. Um, duty. Join. No duty has been selected. Leveling. Join. All right, here we go. Party chat? How do I go to party chat? Oh, Joe would like to join. Oh, 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 oh. Crap! You guys have to type in Twitch chat. I'm never gonna read that. I am so sorry. Do you wanna you guys wanna escape out or do we get penalized for doing that? Sorry, totally didn't see that in time. Oh, I like this dungeon. This one's cool. Sorry, Joe. I didn't see it in time. I got a good dungeon. Yeah, this one was fun. Yeah. 
Oh, we got Salvando Luego in our party. Now, I, I don't hit these things while we're on the way because I don't want to pull aggro. Is, uh, is it easy to pull aggro or should I be, should I be hitting them? You can hit them. Yeah, I won't pull off Dan. Okay. I just remember that was the thing from the World of Warcraft days. You know, if uh, the tank was like tagging a bunch of mobs and trying to like run them all together, if you started attacking them too early, you would easily pull aggro, you know? <laughs> My hands are on the wrong keys. The random person's a reaper. Oh, the new job. Oh man, I didn't even notice that. That's awesome. I love those dragons that fly in just as like a trap, a glorified trap. It would be cool if like somebody hit them with like a ranged attack while they were flying over and they would stop the, uh, the breath. That would be kind of cool. How did we got Chudo Yudo? Anything I need to know for this gang? Please feel free to let me know if there's a mechanic I need to pay attention to. Don't stand in front of him during his swing. Swinge? He swunged. It's pretty easy to avoid his stuff, huh? Okay. Okay, terrific. A pair of jambayas? Is that what it said? Oh, it's for rogues and ninjas. <laughs> Pass. Ow! <laughs> Look what they've done to my oatmeal. Look what they've done to my oatmeal. I like oatmeal. Thank you. Do, do, do. I love the whole look of this castle.
You were shooketh when you learned that Pepsi owns Quaker Oats oatmeal? I didn't know that. Yeah. When you start to do a deep dive into like which companies own what companies, it quick, it, you quickly realize that it, there are very few players. I am Carrier Ziz. Interesting creature names. Anything I need to know on this one? Who's getting cannons? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that dragon got us. <laughs> there we go. It's a vigil hat. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, I can't, I can't wear it. I'm going to greet it. I was in this one. Oh. Vigil robe. Sorry, I'm coming. Especially super weird and suspicious things like Heinz owning Weight Watchers for a long time. Oh, yeah, that is weird. really hard to get used to the fact that if like something dies is there a way is there a setting that's actually a good question is there a setting to auto target like the nearest thing if i hit a button without a target instead of giving me like that boop, 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 boop. is there a way to do that Worth the check, not sure. Okay. Because it's so annoying. Like, when there's a big group of monsters, like, I can't tell necessarily when... I don't have something targeted. You don't think so? If it was there, I'd be the tar in the targeting panel of your character settings. Okay. Take a look at the options. Y'all start. All right. I'll do it after this. What about this fight? Is there anything I need to do? This looks so cool. So cool. Don't stand this stuff. Okay. Run to the edges when he flies away. Okay. Doodle, 
When should uh, we hit the limit break? Do I have to wait till he gets low? Ten percent. I bet there's a way to enable percentages too, right? So I don't have that. Limit break. All right, maybe that was a little premature. There we go. There is a setting enable auto target when no target is specified. Yes, is there? Oh my God, it's gonna make it so much better. Did you have that on or off? Triple. You have it on, yeah? Okay. That is like a must have. That's under system config. Uh, oh, I was in character config. Automatically lock on target when initiating auto attack? No. Well, I mean, I think I'm okay with that. Enable auto target when no target specified. Why isn't that? Why doesn't it not work? I must needs experiment. Okay. And I leveled up to 49, which is what we needed. Great. So thank you uh, to Naka and Danimal for uh, helping me with that. How much do you find yourself saying must needs now? A lot. Definitely a lot. Wanted to go fight something. Okay. So I have nothing targeted. See, I want to stop that. I want to. I want him to immediately use the ability. So if I'm fighting a big group in a dungeon, I don't have to worry that I have to hit tab first every single time. No way to do that. Let's let me test it like this. Let me start fighting with this. Okay, and now I have this one. Now, when this one dies. Oh, wait, I'm really locked on now with that new setting. Oh, see, it did go. It did switch to this one. But that other setting I enabled is bad. This one. 
automatically face a target when using an action. Switch target circle to target select. I don't know what that means. You can right click enemies too, yeah. I don't know, it's mostly, I don't, I, it just, it may be just something I have to adjust my mind on. Like, I guess I'm used to Guild Wars 2 a lot. Like, if, if you're fighting a big group of monsters, right, you just, you just spam your attacks in that general direction, you know, and uh, if you want to target something specifically, you can, but otherwise you just hit the whole group. Like, I want to be able to just hit doom spike which is like an aoe right in a line and i just want to be able to hit things in a line and when one thing dies and i don't have the next thing targeted i find i'm, I'm doing this a lot so that's just something i have to get used to i guess all right um Let's go back into the Waking Sands. These are the funny kind of things to go back and watch my stream like a year or two from now. If I keep playing this and get really into it and then I just happen to watch an old uh, VOD of me playing this, you know? And I'll, I'll, I'll say something about that and I'm like, oh, that's weird that I complained about that a couple years ago. Because now I'm used to it. Ah! Get me in there! Entrance to the solar. Ah, we must needs help with our streamer and such. It's funny. Minfili would brief you on the Orzian's Alliance. All right, here we go. It's been a lot of voice acting today. <laughs> Cursed myself. All present, then let us begin. We have received the details of the impending operation. In what promises to be the largest single counteroffensive in the realm's troubled history, the Alliance will strike at the Imperial stronghold standing upon Eorzean soil. As might be expected, the operation will be complex, but you need not commit its intricacies to memory. It is enough that each man understands his part and plays it to the best of his ability. The finer instructions you will receive at each staging point. They spent the VA budget on the end of the game. Yeah, well, it makes sense. To begin, let us review the distribution of our forces. From the west to east, the maelstrom of Lim Solomensa, the immortal flames of Uldar, and the order of the twin adder of Gridania. Next, let us examine the locations of the Imperial strongholds. Near Limso Lomensa, we have Castrum Oxidens, situated in the eastern Vilbrand, and Castrum Marinum, which lies to the south and east in the midst of Rotano Sea. Okay, so they're, this, they're both on islands. Near Olda, we have Castrum uh, Meridianum to the north, and the coastal outpost at Cape Westwind, which connects Castro Marinum to the mainland by means of a Magitech transporter. Near Gridania, we have Castro Orients, which lies upon the eastern edge of the Twelveswood. All right, so they have a lot of them. Every expansion seems to exponentially increase the amount of good voice acting. Yeah. Yep.
And finally, in Mordona, stands Castrum Sentry, a thorn in the heart of Eorzea. Is this the one we just went to? To free our peoples? Right? Castrum Sentry? The forthcoming operation will see Allied forces assault each of the aforementioned locations with the ultimate objective of destroying the Empire's new weapon housed within Castrum Meridianum. As one might expect of the Black Wolf's seat of power, Castrum Meridianum boasts all the impenetrable defenses. If we are to breach it, we must needs isolate it from its sister strongholds. Everybody drink. To do otherwise would to be risked to be get caught twixt hammer and anvil. The operation will comprise four distinct phases, all told. The first shall see us eliminate one of the Black Wolf's most trusted lieutenants, Riatin Sas Arvin. Are they? Are they basically telling you what all these expansions are? Like each expansion you go toward and you capture like one or two of them. No? Oh, okay. All right. I, I was immediately thinking, wow, this is going to be take forever. Oh, they're telling you what the next four quests are. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I immediately started to panic like this. This might just take forever. <laughs> All right. Um... According to our intelligence, the Prefectus, Prefectus is due to visit the Imperial Outpost of Cape Westwind for an inspection. God, I can't talk. When he arrives, we shall dispatch an elite adventurer unit to el eliminate him. Bog, we would have you lead this assault. Okay. Ratatin is a peerless field tactician. Shorn of his leadership, the garrison at Castrum Oxidens will be as a snake without its head. Phase 2 will see us sever Castrum Meridianum's primary lines of supply. As soon as Ratatin's presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Maelstrom will lay siege to Castrum Oxidens. At that very hour... The Laminsen Armada, helmed by Admiral herself, shall move to blockade Castrum Marinum. Knight takes Rook, Rook takes Bishop. Meanwhile, in the Twelves Wood, the Order of the Twin Adder will surround Castrum Oriens. And they'll have the sylphs to help them. Frixio has been waiting for a chance to avenge these ones. Ha! <laughs> Phase 3 shall see us neutralize Castro Marinianum's defenses. Forming our main thrust, the Immortal Flames will march against the stronghold with all their strength. While their enemy's eyes are thus drawn outwards, another elite adventurer unit shall infiltrate the Castro. Its mission to disable the Magitech field generator, which protects the Praetorium, a fortress within a fortress wherein the ultimate weapon is believed to be housed. Bog, we would have you take command once more. All right, so we have to disable the Magitech field generator, which protects the Praetorium, a fortress within a fortress. Meanwhile, the Order of the Twin Adder will blockade the railway which connects Sentry and Meridianum, preventing the timely arrival of reinforcements from Mordana, Mordona. Okay, we're going to blockade the railway. A wise precaution. The monstrous locomotive which runs back and forth between the two Castra is capacious enough to transport a small army by all accounts. Okay, that's good. It is well the Garleans did not think to give it wings. Once Meridianum's defenses have been compromised, the operation will enter its fourth and final phase. All armies will converge. They will see the immortal flames enter the stronghold, suppress the remnants of the enemy garrison. Allowing Bog's unit to pass unopposed into the Praetorium, where they will locate and destroy the Ultima Weapon.
Yes. By this feat shall the operation be deemed a success. You seriously love this bit where they gave you the full context of what's going on? I, you know what? I agree with you. I love the, having the map and them giving me the context to where all this is taking place. 100% it brings you into the world. You know, it lets you understand the geography and where you are in the world and what's happening. I love that. Yeah. In addition to the grand companies, we can count upon the support of a variety of other parties. From the pirates of Limsolominsa to the Montarius of Olda. In all, the operation will involve no fewer than 12 major factions. Legend holds that the Archons were 12 in 1, and 1 in 12. It is for this reason that our grand endeavor has been dubbed Operation Archon. There you go. Countless free companies have also pledged their swords, and more join us the, uh, by the day. At long last, all Eorzea is rising as one. As before, we Scions shall work in concert with the Grand Companies. Ida, Papalimo, Ishtala, pray accompany your respective organizations on their missions. Orange, I would have you represent us in Olda. Reassure the financiers that they have made a sound investment. When that is done, pray he return here and aid in the coordination of our forces. Everybody drink. They said pray. Hey, Nuu, what's going on? What do you call a rock group of four men that don't sing? Mount Rushmore. That's true. All right. Tartaru, please assist Orange in any way you are able and ensure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. Okay. Minfilia, Sid, and I shall accompany the main host in the advisory capacity. It will be our task to analyze intelligence as it comes into our possession and make the necessary recommendations to command. As Alfino mentioned, you are to lead the elite unit of adventurers whose task it is to see each Operation Archon's main objectives fulfilled. Yours is the most important role of all, and like to be the most dangerous. Pray, choose your party well and stint not in your preparation. The battle for the future of the realm is about to begin. Together, let us show the Black Wolf the power of United Eorzea. Pray report to the Immortal Flames encampment situated to the north here when you're ready to be briefed on your final mission. Stoic nod. I cannot stress this enough, but please be careful. May you walk in the light of the crystal. I prefer Crystal Light. Quest accepted. This is very exciting. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Where's the allied communications officer? Is he here? No, he's not here. So let's just go out here and see where, where it is. All right, hope everybody's having a great day out there. We have two newer gifted subs so far today. If we get three more, we're going to do a game vault giveaway. But appreciate the support. I may take a break. Yeah. All right. To war. Let's get it popping. I gotta use my new mount, even if for three seconds. 
Da -da 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 -da. I'm here on official business. Leverman says, honestly, though, I'm regularly pleased to see your viewer count not change even a little bit during break. We have um, we have a really solid core group of people that are here, like, pretty much all day, every day. And uh, I'm thankful as well, because sometimes I take, like, 10, 12-minute breaks. We got stuff going on in the house, you know. And, you know, six hours just sitting in one place. It's tough. So uh, it's great to come back and have most of you guys still here. So thank you for doing that. All right, so the Allied Communications Officer says, You are welcome, Bog Otter of the Scions. As Communications Officer, it falls to me to issue your orders and provide you guidance on forthcoming missions. I have an important announcement. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Look up here. <laughs> it's a Frosty the Snowman hat. You guys see it? <laughs> Yes, there must have been some magic in that old silk Sorry. hat he found. It was a very Just important announcement. When he she placed it on his head, his smile turned to a frown. Fizz gig hates hats. Oh man. He is spazzing out with that on his head. You're so cute. You should have Patreon that. I will. Eventually I will. Okay, we'll have to Patreon that. Guys, sign up on Patreon. Did you like that? Get lens that posts. Good, right? Get pope. Get videos of our cats sent to your uh, phone. Yay, Otterscotch! Yay! Every day or two. Otterscotch says, "I am so glad I looked over just in time." That was I wonderful. apologize. That is the end of the important announcement. All right. Thank you. And Ryler says he was contemplating murder. Yeah, he did love that, right? Okay. Um. All right, guide me on my missions. Your first mission is to infiltrate the Imperial outpost at Cape Westwind and eliminate Praefectus Retatin as Sas Arvina. All participating units are now in position and awaiting your arrival. Please proceed to the staging point and report to Lieutenant Alderbert. This is but the first step in our bid to purge the realm of Garlean menace. I shall pray for your success. <laughs> I got. I think I. I think I fought that guy before, or ran past him before. This place is very glowy. Dun, dun, uh, dun, uh. Thanks for clipping out, Rabbit. So, your bog honor, the fearless adventurer who's to lead the assault, we've been expecting you. Our maelstrom friends report to the Ritatan. Ritatan? Well, how do we say his name? Ritatan? Ritatan. Ritatan. Tatan, Saz, Arvina, departed Castrum, Occidens, Abellico. And sure enough, a convoy of Imperial airships landed here just now. The likelihood is high that our target was aboard one of the vessels. I've dispatched scouts to verify his presence before we strike. Command all units, requesting status report. This is Antlion 1, target has not been sighted. This is Antlion 2, likewise, target has not been sighted. Antlion 3 here, we've got nothing for you either. This is Antlion 4. We ain't found shit. Wait, disregard that previous message. Target sighted. I say again, target sighted. That's pretty good. It's nice. That's yours. That's for tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. 
Understood. Hold your position. Attention all units. This is Lieutenant Adelbert Cotter. The first step of Operation Archon begins with us. Should we falter here, all hope of victory will be lost. It is no small burden, but know that I believe in all of you. So believe in yourselves and together we will blaze a path for our brothers and sisters of the Alliance to follow. Pay attention to my plunging neckline. Oh, we will create multiple diversions and disperse the enemy garrison. That should give our people a chance to breach their defenses. Go now, Bog, and bring us Ratatin's head. May Ralgir grant you strength. Stoic nod. Stoic nod to, to you. <laughs> 